Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to explain how we can create a rounded rectangle in Android. Uh, one rectangle without background, other with background, and the third one with a gradient. So let's start now. Okay, uh, we'll create it as a driver resource file. For that, just right click on your driver folder and new, and then driver resource file. Here we can give a name, uh, rounded rectangle background. that's it well so actually I've already written an article on this topic so instead of writing the code again I will just copy paste from my website the link is mentioned in the description that's handyopinion.com so here uh, I've written code for all three rectangles uh, without background with background and with a gradient so for now first I will copy the first one just copy it and paste it in your project here you can see uh, using this shape tag we can create uh, shapes in Android using XML. So uh, this shape type determines which kind of shape we are going to draw. And then the stroke, uh, it defines how much will be the width or color of this border. And then finally the corners we can set. Uh, the corner radius means uh, how much curve uh, the corners will have. So that's it. We can add many other attributes. Uh, we'll discuss them later one by one. So I will just add it as a drawable, as a background into my activity. For example, I can assign it to any view. For now, I will assign it to a relative layout. So for example, uh, match width and then match height. Uh, that's it. So here I can assign the background inside background at tribal rounded rectangle background so it's drawn in this way for example I fix the height 50 dp so it will drawn in the height of 50 dp so you can see it's in center because uh, my top layout has uh, the attribute gravity center vertical that's why it's in center okay that's it now uh, let's move towards the next one if I decide to assign a background to it for that, let's create another driver resource. This time, I give a different name, rounded a rectangle with background. So for that, uh, I can copy the next code. So you can just go to this link and copy the code. Okay, well, so uh, this all attributes are same, only the new attribute which you added is this one, solid. So whatever uh, the value assigned to this solid attribute, for example, the color rectangle will be filled with this color. Okay, now coming back to my activity. So let's say I have another relative layout and I set it has background, uh, rectangle, big background. I can put bit margin, margin top, 20 dp. So see here. So the first rectangle they have no background. The second one have a blue background. That's it. Now the most trickiest thing uh, is the gradient. For that, uh, we need to create another driver resource. I want it a rectangle gradient. Okay, for that you can just copy the third one, this XML code. So this code is same with another tag called gradient. So in this gradient, we can assign a start color and then center color then end color the start color you can see is assigned at the start the center is assigned them in middle and the end color is assigned at the end the last one is angle using angle we can decide which kind of uh, orientation the color should take for example if i set it to 90 degree 
look, the gradient is vertical. If I assign it to zero, the gradient is horizontal. That's it. Coming back to my activity. This time I want to assign it to a text view. So I just want to show we can assign it to any view type because it's a simple variable. This is height 50 dp again and then uh, background around it rectangle with gradient margin top let's say 50 dp so you can see here it's created and now this text view has the gradient background that's it please don't forget to subscribe my channel for other helping tutorials thanks for watching